Welcome to Preps Report. This is Mike Ramchak in Lake Como with James Langness, a senior at Badger High School. James, how are you today? Good, how are you? Good. We're here today because we see you're on the shelf. You just recently had foot surgery. Um, but we also hear that you are battling a disease every day um, that's a little rare and nobody's really ever heard of. Why don't you first tell us about your foot and um, just kind of introduce yourself and and say who you are and what happened to you recently. I'm James Lingness. I moved here a year ago from Alabama. So everybody up here calls me Bama. Um, <laughs> I played for Badger High School. Well, I played for Badger High School until the first game. And I broke my foot in the middle of it and broke every bone and every ligament. So that was coming off the field. I was really sad because I knew that my senior season was probably over. What exactly happened on the play? Um, it was a safety blitz, and I was a strong safety, and I blitzed, and the running back went through the hole. I, I chased him through the hole, and uh, one of my players was trying to make the tackle too, and he just ended up rolling up on my foot, and it happened. Okay. Um, and I hear also that <clears throat> you're battling this rare disease. Why don't you tell us about what is the disease, and just kind of introduce it and say what's kind of your condition right now. All right, um, it's a rare, just kidney condition. It's actually the, the compression of the left renal vein, and that feeds the kidney, and it basically it just backs up blood. It, it like backs up the blood, and it just causes a lot of pain. I'd say twice the pain of kidney stones, having it every day, and um, really, and. It was really painful when I when I first like had it in Alabama, and I just didn't know what it was, and nobody else knew what it was. The doctors didn't know what it was. I didn't know if I was just if I had like a rare cancer, if I was gonna die. What's the worst your condition ever got? Your kidney condition. Um, it got bad enough where I didn't go to school for a long time. I stopped going to school sometime in mid-October, and I didn't come back until March of the next year. Wow. So. Okay. How are you now? Um, Cause this was what, two years ago? Or a year and a half ago? Yeah. Okay. Um, How are you feeling today? I mean, it's been, it's been corrected through surgery, but it's a lot of just like the nerves just always hurt, and I randomly uh, I'll just pee I'll pee blood, and it's just. I know every, when I like at football, I go to practice, and sometimes my kidneys will just be hurting. Some days they won't be hurting as bad, but usually they hurt every day. Who's been there for you the most? You know who who kind of helps you get through all these obstacles? I'd say people. Just my dad. He's really supportive. Um, when I moved up here. It kind of tra the people kind of transferred, and my, I mean my dad's always been there for my mom, but I'd say three people that stand out in Wisconsin for me have been um, as one, the biggest one has probably been Matt Reynolds. He's been my friend since I got here, and he's just been really supportive. And like I broke my foot, and he just who's your teammate? Yeah, he's my teammate, and he he just we we went to a bunch of camps together this summer, and last summer we hung out a lot. We hung out throughout the year, and he's just been there for me. And he texts me like in, in these weeks, and he just ca came and saw me like most of the time, and it's really helped. And he's just been yeah. saying like, "Man, it's just not the same without without you." So <laughs> uh, he was. I mean, he's a really big supportive supportive guy for me. And without Bama, right? Yeah, Your without Bama. Nickname's Bama. <laughs> My nickname's Bama, and <laughs> I'd say number two would uh, be Coach Hensler. You know, he's just a great guy great coach and he's just really good with young men I'd say okay and uh, another one was just out of the random because I only met him not that long ago was S Steve Compton and he's just a really supportive guy and, and every he's a dad of a he, of he, one of your friends yeah he's the dad of one of my friends and he just he, he'll come up to you and I mean he just told me he's like you're my freaking hero and that kind of just I know it just makes me happy. He's like you've been through 
a lot, and you're just my hero, and it just kind of makes me happy to, to hear him say that, and it's just kind of shocking to me that he thinks that. Okay, okay. So it had to have been devastating when you went down with this foot injury, um, but it looks like the team is doing well. Mm -hmm. And um, just what's be, what's been your experience on the sidelines, just kind of supporting the team? Has that kind of cheered you up at all, or do you want to just be out there? Well, I know the Badgers will do good either way. It's really hard sitting on the sidelines and just not being able to be out there and contribute to the team. But my, I guess my role now is just to keep their heads up when a bad play comes or just be really supportive of the team and make sure that they're doing what they need to do. If, right. if they mess up, I can tell them and hopefully they'll take my advice and I just need to be there for the team. We're here with Jim Langness, father of James. Jim, how are you today? Doing all right. Uh, take us through um, just the history of James um, and first his, ki his kidney condition, just kind of from a parent's perspective. Um, what are your feelings toward it and kind of how, how tough has it been throughout the years? Well, it was a, it was a really scary thing because it, it started out as a number of different um, things going on that were painful for him, but it all kind of seemed very unconnected at first. You know, knee pain, well, you know, he's in football practice all yeah. the time in Alabama, so well, he probably just hurt it and it's probably still hurt. Then he started having some other pain in some other areas, and then it got pretty scary where, you know, he started um, passing blood and having a, a lot of pain in his side. Yeah. And at first it wasn't like completely debilitating, but it was it was really bad, but there's a family history of kidney stones, so they kept thinking it's just well, he must have just passed a kidney stone and okay. we're just seeing the effects of it. But then it got to the point where he was passing so much blood, he lost like 45 pounds. Um wow. he looked like a ghost. Two this was only and, like 2 years ago. Yes, and and, and the doctors um, were really struggling as a 16-year-old. Okay, you're 18 yeah. now? No, I'm 17. Yeah, he's 15. As a 15 year old. Late 16. Yeah. I'm late 17. Like, I'm almost 18. So you're still kind of developing. In, right. In your hormones and your. Yeah, body. And, and he's he's just in. Um, and the doctors, there's doctors that were taking to all these different special specialists, and, and nobody can figure out what's going on with them. Um, they're testing them for everything that causes you to have flank pain and pass blood. And it got to the point where they'd eliminated pretty much everything that doesn't just kill you. And wow. so as a parent, it was it was terrifying. It was it was horrible. The surgery he had was was a pretty substantial thing. I mean, basically, they cut his whole front open, took all his guts out, did bypasses, put all his guts back in. They cut wow. all his abdominal muscles. So it was really amazing that he was out there playing football last year. So for him to to work through that, I mean, as a parent, you have to be. He, I'm, I'm really proud of him because that's. That's really an amazing thing. Jim, maybe one last thing. Um, we've heard James' story. It's definitely inspirational. Uh, to you personally, you know, what have you learned um, from James over the years? And, um, you know, what do you think is, is really the, the biggest thing that people should remember about, about James and just kind of what, what, what should they know about him? What can they learn from him? And what have you learned from him? His 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 perseverance, his um, ability to overcome pain and adversity, not only to continue to do what he loves to do, but to support his friends and his teammates. That's really what drives him. It's it's as much to be there for for his buddies as it is there to be there for him, for himself. Okay. Thank you for your time, Jim. Thank you. Thank you for watching Preps Report. This is Mike Ramchek signing off.